What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am very excited to show you the unboxing and the hands-on of the iPhone 10 replica, also known as Goofone 10. Now this came directly from China and it was scheduled to arrive on September 10th, but unfortunately due to the fact that while well, we had Hurricane Irma here in South Florida, I wasn't able to complete the unboxing on time and I do apologize for that. But now along with this box came the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 replica. This is the one-to-one -to, -one to the original. So I'm just waiting for the original to arrive so that way maybe we can do a one-to-one -one comparison uh, with the Goofone Note 8. Anyways, looking at this box in which we don't know exactly how it's going to look, we are assuming that the original will have exactly the same design. On the side we see that typical iPhone logo and the same thing goes here on the right side. On the top we got the Apple logo and towards the bottom we can see that Apple logo once again. Now according to this picture, I am assuming that I got the black color version, but now when we look here on the back side, by the way these are the specifications, but when we look on the bottom side it says that I got the gold version. 28 gigs which is absolutely fake as you guys can see it came with a pretty nice wrapper I mean you can easily tell here by the imperfections that this is not the original but at least guys they are trying and of course the Chinese usually keep persisting with trying until they perfect these replicas hundred percent so anyways let's go ahead and take a look inside here we can see the manuals are not aligning well with the box so that's an indication that you have a fake on here then inside we got a D device with bubble wrap and of course Apple will never include bubble wrap on their devices, we know that already. And this is actually a lot smaller than I anticipated. I thought I was gonna be getting a much bigger device. Now I'm assuming that maybe this is not a true 5.8 inch display, maybe it's a 5.5 at the most. So let's go ahead and set it aside for now so that we can look at the accessories. We got those typical uh, earphones or earbuds you can see that this time on the back side, it doesn't come with the Apple logo, but the front looks almost identical to the original. And to be honest with you guys, these sometimes don't have the best quality, so don't expect anything like the original, of course. Uh, we got the uh, lightning cable, and this time it came wrapped very closely like they do with the original um, iPhone. And then here we have the wall charger. And of course, that's all we get inside of this box. And now to give you guys a better view, I went ahead and removed the front screen protector. And as you guys can see, there is a cutout um, simulating to be the original display. And this is where I'm telling you guys that they knew all along exactly how the iPhone 10 was gonna look like, even though it was just rumored. But these guys know it before it goes out into being rumored. And this information is provided to me by my old friend from China. And you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. But anyways, we got here the front facing camera with four different sensors simulating to be the real deal. And then towards the bottom, we can actually see right there the cutout um, trying to simulate the original display. Now, unfortunately, guys, the Chinese, at least the clone factories, don't have the technology yet to create the same exact display. So that's why they only did like a little uh, cutout for it, just trying to make it look exactly like the original device. On the back side, again, I removed the protector, which is just one that came included with the device. And basically, they were just covering up the Apple logo and the iPhone logo here towards the bottom side. Uh, we have the dual cameras in the back. Now, these are just 8 megapixel sensors. On the original, we're going to get the 12 megapixel sensors with optical M stabilization. And something I like about the new iPhone 10 is the fact that now you can record at 1080p 240 frames per second. That's absolutely insane. Uh, we got the um, LED flash on here. Towards the right, we find the power key. On the bottom side, we have the lightning port with the loudspeaker and the microphone. Keep in mind that with this replica, you're not going to get the stereo speakers that well, we're going to see on the original product. We got the volume rockers here on the left hand side with the silent switch. On the top, you got nothing here, it's absolutely plain, and that's pretty much for the entire body. Now, just to mention a few specifications, it comes with the MTK 65A0, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 8 gigabytes of internal storage, and I believe the Mali is the T400, so the specifications are a little bit mediocre. And also, this is going to simulate to be running iOS, but in fact, it's going to be the Android Marshmallow. But I do like the fact of how well they are able to come up with the design and make it exactly the same as the original. For them, believe it or not guys, it must be very hard to get this kind of information leaked and then create a clone from it without having the original side by side. 
So here we can see the Apple logo with the black background. And by the way, guys, I know that I mentioned that this device uh, or the box said that I was going to get the gold color version, but in fact, it was the black one in which is my favorite color. Uh, so here we have the lost screen already. And something I immediately noticed and I do like is the fact that they never got rid of that home button on the bottom side, even though this is virtual. But I thought that Apple was going to have something similar or at least the option to have it on there. And maybe on a software update, they can actually create it and bring it back to the device, but we don't know that as of right now. But again, on the replica, we do have it, and the cool part is that you can't trick it by clicking on the sides. So you have to click exactly on the uh, circle, otherwise it won't work. So here we can see that very nice animation towards the bottom side here when we click it. It has that very nice animation, uh, switching here colors from being black to that cream color. Let me show you that again. You can see that it looks very cool. Um, here we have the settings on this device and they are quite smooth and fast to be honest with you guys. Now something I noticed is that the battery is depleting quite fast because I have completed different cuts and I had to turn off the device on and off, on and off until I got the proper uh, clip for it. And yes, the battery does deplete very, very quickly. So now let's go here into general. Let's go into about device and this is where we're going to find all the fake stuff. This one is uh, telling us here that it has 32 gigabytes of internal memory but then again on the box it says 128. Now these are the details that they need to fix in order to make their devices look a little bit more authentic in my opinion. Uh, the version of the iOS is 11 on this uh, replica and we know that that's absolutely fake. This is actually running Android. Uh, the model, there we can see it, we have a serial number. We also have a, um, we have the IMEI information on this device. So it looks very, very authentic on that behalf. Uh, let's go here back to settings. Here we can see the remaining of the stuff on here. We got uh, Touch ID, but of course they have eliminated it um, as of right now. So let's go and click on it. Let's pretend, oh look at this guys. They have the on-screen Touch ID, which is absolutely fake. But anyways, I'm going to try it just to test it out. Who knows and it works. That will be absolutely remarkable. Let's put in a pin on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's enable it. Now let's go here into the lock screen. Let me put in the wrong one. And actually you guys can see that it is not working as of right now. But let's try the left one. And no, it never works guys is absolutely fake so yes we don't have a real touch id again that would have been very scary to be honest with you uh, we got the battery information on here and the battery as i mentioned before is really crappy then we have here icloud which is basically your gmail account we have itunes on here we have wallet and apple pay so let's go here back into uh, home and here we have the messaging app there we go. We got calendar. We have photos. We have camera. Now this is the 8 megapixel sensor camera and I won't lie to you guys, the camera quality is actually quite impressive. Barely any lags. It doesn't have optical image stabilization, but just look at the autofocus. I think it's doing a great job so far. So for a device that only costs about $90, I think they definitely nailed it here, at least on the camera side. It doesn't look that bad. I've seen replicas in the past that look really, really poor. So let's go back here into the apps. And the next one we got is weather, which is powered by Yahoo. We have clock. So everything seems to be in English this time. We have maps and they have used the Google maps, which is cool. We got videos. We have wallet which again, I think it's fake. Uh, we have notes, very cool. And now something I haven't checked yet is the control center. So let's go and swipe up. And this is actually the newer version with um, iOS 11. And here we can see we got the toggles on the left hand side for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and airplane mode. We have the music player here on the right side. We have a flashlight that actually works. We have a timer, very cool. And it's all very different. We have the calculator. We have, again, the camera toggle on here. So everything is working quite well. We have the brightness. Wow, look at this, guys. It's so, so accurate. 
we had the one for the volume and here we're going to see the device at full um, brightness and like I said on the beginning of the video the quality of the display is just absolutely phenomenal I mean I have no words for it guys for a replica or the first replica of the iPhone 10 I think they did a very good job I mean if at one point they can create those little corners here on the top and also make the display go all the way to the bottom I will be absolutely thrilled and now with this being said guys, I think we have completed the hands-on of the iPhone 10 replica. If you guys want a full review, please let me know in the comment section below. But my next video will be about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 comparison with the original product. So please stay tuned for that. And again, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one. And in case you want to know, it doesn't have the real Siri. I almost forgot about that.